Hello! In this video I'm going to be going over Lewis dot structures, how to draw them when you break the octet rule. So, um, it, first of all we have two rows, the first row, the second row. Those first two rows you cannot break the octet rule. But once you get into the third row elements, then you can start breaking the octet rule because you have um, 3D orbitals. So you have an area, the D orbital, can accept more electrons and therefore you can have more than eight outer electrons. You could also have a situation where you have less than eight. So with the situation of boron or aluminum, they're only going to have six outer electrons and that's okay too. So you can have less than eight or uh, more than eight. So I'm going to do an example right here. We have BCl3 um, boron trichloride. B is in least supply, so that's the first. And what I'm going to do is, that's why it's easier to do it where you count the electrons first. So boron has three outer electrons. It's in column 3A. Three plus chlorine, which has seven. It's a halogen, 7A. And there's three of those. That's a three. 21 plus three is 24. So then we have chlorine, chlorine, and chlorine. They each have at least one bond. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. That's all the electrons you have. And it just so happens that this is okay. It's satisfied, even though boron has just 2, 4, 6 instead of 8 outer electrons. And this is going to be the trigonal planar shape. So trigonal planar is usually going to be symmetrical. Therefore, it is going to be nonpolar. All right, doing ACL3, um, ALCL3, aluminum's in the center because it's in the least supply. Aluminum again has three, it's in the same column as boron, three outer electrons, and chlorine you know, has seven, it's halogen, and there's three of them. So you add, a, you add it up, it equals 24. Chlorine, 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 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. You use up all 24 electrons. That's all right. Um, aluminum just has 2, 4, 6 electrons. So this is trigonal planar. Therefore, it is symmetrical and therefore nonpolar. All right, doing another one, we've got xenon tetrafluoride. So I'm going to count xenon. It's a noble gas, so it has out eight outer electrons. And fluorine is a halogen, which has seven. There's four of them. Seven times four is 28, plus eight is what, 36. So xenon goes in the center, and then we have fluorine. Each has one bond to them, at least. And I'm then going to add dots to um, the outer like outer atoms and then to the center. I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 5, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So if I still have electrons available and I filled up all my outer atoms, then I have to expand the octet on the center atom and have more than eight, and that is okay. All right, going over another problem, we have SF6, so sulfur's in the center, but let's count how many outer electrons we have. Sulfur, looking at it, has six outer electrons, We'll put over here six and fluorine has seven it's a halogen and there's six of them so it has seven it's in column 17 or 7a so six times seven is 42 plus six 48 all right so we're going to connect each of these six fluorines to um, this sulfur And that gives us 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 24, 25, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Alright, so all of these fluorines have eight outer electrons, but the sulfur has two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and uh, that is okay. It's breaking the octet rule. It's sulfur, it's in column, or it's in group, it's in row three or higher. Those are all the elements that can break the octet rule. Alright, doing another one, KRF2. KR goes in the center because it's in least supply. It has eight, it's a noble gas, and fluorine is a halogen, so it has seven. There's two of them. Seven times two is 14, plus eight, 18, 90, 20, equals 22. And we have two fluorines, each with one bond, at least. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So it has three lone pairs. And two bonds. And that is KRF2. All right, doing another one, we have PO4, 3 minus. So phosphorus is 5. It's in the same column as nitrogen, 5A. And oxygen has 6, and there's 4 of them, plus 3, because there's it's a minus 3, so it has 3 additional electrons. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 5 is 29, plus 3 is 32 phosphorus each bonded to one bond to an oxygen and there's four of them we're going to start adding electrons to the outer atoms and then any leftovers to the center two four six eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two and this phosphorus has two four six eight so it doesn't necessarily expand the octet but since it's a polyatomic ion, we have to put brackets around it and a 3 minus. All right, doing another one, let's do ASBr5. ASBr5. AS is arsenic, same column as nitrogen and phosphorus, 5A. So it's five outer electrons. Bromine's halogen has seven times five. Seven times five is 35, plus five is 40. So we're going to write AS in the middle because it's the one in least supply and it's connected to five bromines one, two three four five so we have two four six eight ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seven eighteen nineteen twenty twenty two twenty two three four five six seven eight nine thirty three one three two three four five three six seven three eight nine forty all of them have eight except for arsenic is two four six eight ten that's all right. It expands the octet. All right, and doing one last one, let's put this in better focus, SeI6. So uh, Se is selenium, same column as sulfur and oxygen, has six outer electrons, and iodine has seven. It's a halogen, but there's six of them. Six times seven is 42, plus six is 48. So for this one, we have selenium in the center. It's in least supply. Iodine All right, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two, one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, six, seven, three, eight, nine, forty, four, one, four, two, four, three, four, 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 five, four, six, four, seven, forty eight. Each of these iodines has eight outer electrons, but selenium has two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So once you get the habit of it, follow the process. It doesn't get too bad, but it does take practice to really get it down. And in another video, we'll talk about what shape these are, what molecular shape, and maybe what the hybridization is. Thank you for watching.